Hey everyone, how you doing? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make veggie spaghetti. Uh, this is out of squash. It's not spaghetti squash though, so don't get confused. It's uh, just regular squash. I'd rather grow regular squash and turn it into spaghetti because it's actually easier than to do spaghetti squash. And it actually, one squash plant will make several squash. And my experience with growing spaghetti squash is you usually only get one one squash per plant maybe two uh, maybe I don't know what I'm doing I don't know but I do squash uh, so let's get this show on the road when you cook at my house the first thing you have to do is uh, find a clean place to, uh, to cook so I'll be right back uh, after I clean well then after you scrub down and disinfect a place to clean uh, the next thing you have to next thing you have to do at my house is wash some dishes. I'm sorry, things are looking like this. I just got off of work and this is just a common thing. Uh, so hold on while I do that. Hey, so after you get done cleaning up after the family wife mainly you want to take a squash and uh, run it under the sink and kind of scrub it off make it clean and I'm going to cut mine right here like so and I'm going to cut it right here like so <clears throat> and you want to whoop, cut away from yourself right I'm going to cut off all this outer layer. And so you have something like that. Huh? Yeah, nice huh? this and I'll put it in the compost heap. Then you want to take one of these things and I don't know what it's called but uh, you can find it So, what you do, hold it like this, stick this thing in, turn it, Now, use as many as you want. That's how far I'm going with this. This uh, particular squash was a little too old and it had a lot of seeds on it. You don't want to let them get that old. But uh, that's okay. I'm surprised it was that old. It's really early in the season. Well, that, that was a fast bloomer. Before you go any further, the next thing you want to do, once you get one of these, you want to clean it right away because these are very hard to clean but without a dishwasher especially and I don't have a dishwasher so there we go. Now the next thing you want to do is heat a pan up just above medium and uh, throw some oil in there. This is just cheap vegetable oil because I'm poor. Uh, if I weren't poor it would be olive oil. You want to let that heat a little bit, get good 
getting hot. I don't know what that is over there. I don't know if she's wanting that for something. I don't know. Okay, once this pan starts getting good and hot, you'll know it by taking a drop of water. I'll let me try it for you. You know it by taking a drop of water and putting it onto that grease. See that? We know that's hot enough now. Back down heat just a wee bit, but it's still above medium. And you want to put these in. Okay. Oh, it's just like sauteing onions. Something you gotta know before we go any further. This is very important. You want to use spaghetti sauce. You can make your own, or you can use this kind: Mids Home Style Pasta Sauce, Italian Sausage, or like I'm going to use today, Italian Sausage with Peppers. Yeah, I'm going to warn you right now: if you're making spaghetti with squash, you don't want to use anything else, but either homemade or mids, because anything else, I guarantee it. Suck. Okay, now, as you do this, make sure you keep cleaning the sides of the pan off. But you'll start noticing that some of the tiniest pieces will start browning on you. That's, that's about time you're ready for the sauce. Okay, so I'm going to finish off this older jar I had. It's not very old. See how that's nice and thick and meaty? That's what you want. You don't want that fake crap you get anywhere else. And just mix that in. That's almost enough really. I like to go real heavy on my sauces. I do love my sauces. I want to dump just a little more sauce in. Okay. Mix that sauce. Oh, the light is up. Mmm. Now you can put cheese in with that if you want. I don't really want to. So there we have it. We'll take the heat off. And we're just going to let it heat thoroughly through. Well, I put up my put my mitts back in the fridge. Very valuable stuff. Oh boy! I wish I wish you could smell this. I really do. Oh. Okay. So. It won't hurt you. Uh, 
this actually rivals the taste of Terry's Pizza Spaghetti. Now that is saying something. Mm. But it is very good. Mm. If I just had that Terry's Pizza atmosphere here at home, this would be what I'd eat. Mm. good for you. A lot better for you than spaghetti. You know, regular pasta spaghetti. Mm. Mm. So, you got to squash out in your garden. Or go to the store and buy one. Get one of them twirly things. I don't know what they're called. I'm so sorry. Or you can you can just slice it up and just fry it and put spaghetti sauce on it really. Or you can grow spaghetti squash, which tastes exactly the same. Mm. Mm. I guarantee you, it's better than spaghetti. It really is. Now you have to use good grade A sauce. So you're either going to have to make it yourself or you're going to have to use mids. I've tried everything that I could find on the shelf and nothing compares. So anyway, that's my meal. You bother me, I'm trying to eat. <laughs>